Hello. So a couple hours ago, they launched the uh, Cosmic Battle and the Path the Warrior, which means there's like the shop here. And I said I would do a video about the best items. Um, obviously, there is the Red Artifact Chest, um, which is pretty much what I bought most, spent most of my coins on last time. Chest of Random Insignia, Chest of Random Crystals. Um, so each of these contains five. So this is 50 and 50, not just 10. So, but this is random. Chantman Runes. Uh... It's pretty much 2,000 emeralds worth of runes. You have skin stone chests. This is 300 skin stones for 900 coins. A red equipment chest. Orange equipment chest. Violet equipment chest. Um, creator worlds. Like I said, red equipment chest. This is the good one with the piercing gaze and stuff. Should note that. Um, that some of these are kind of expensive. I don't think I'd do creator worlds and say to people we need just or unique extremes. Red equipment chest also kind of expensive, but uh, you do have some choice, more choices there. Um, Deadly Steen. If you need it, it's not too bad, but there's a few heroes. There's only a few heroes. It's like a critter item, so it's not too many critters in this game, so it's probably a meh. Oracle Center is always pretty good. Um, Seer Power, Throwing Knives, Alucard, Allium Amulets are always good. And of course, Helm, Card, and Fane are always good. Um, violet items. Uh, I don't think I'd take any of those. I think I'd pass on those. But especially when you can get some of these items here. Like, these seven items are all really good. And I feel like a lot of these are kind of meh. But, uh, violet equipment chest. Uh, actually, I think that's a bit expensive for what you get. I think you could do, I think orange is to equipment chest better value. Greater's Feathering for 18,000, or else 39, not 18,000 coins, not too bad. But I do have some of the, you can buy, you get some of these from the quest too. I got, I grabbed them from the quest, but didn't open them, so I have like nine in my inventory, so we can open those. You can get some more boxes, you can get some skin stones, runes, some crystals. I have too much stuff. Yeah. yeah, it contains valuable resource, make your hero stronger. And again, more bottle chests, which is what we want. And that's it, so... But yeah, no, just try to do fight, do your fights every day. Um, I didn't mean to hit fine, but uh, just try to do your fights every day. Try to rank high as you can, like the uh, leaks. Like I said, if you can get to Division 1, you get a lot of extra coins to spend on items. Uh, and uh, I think there were some bundles. Yep, Champion's Treasure Bundles. So you can buy these uh, for more coins. You'll get some emeralds. And these will count as the Get VIP quest for both the equilib Polar Equilibrium and the Path of Warrior. Uh, both of those have Get VIP, so there is double dipping there. Um... Yeah, like... Um, I've always, I'm a big proponent of waiting until like 4Xs for 4XLs, but if you want the champion scene and you got, don't mind taking the advantage of the double if it's not too bad of a deal on those. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my recommendation though. Um, absolute artifact chest, pretty good. Random insignias, crystals are, are fine. Skin stones could be fine. Orange equipment chest, and then like Oracle Center, and then these six items I think are going to be... Your best bets. Um, not too much more to say on this one. If you missed my video about the cosmic battles and the path of warrior, I did a full video about that down below. And as always, thank you for watching.